Hi, my name is Fuad Ahmed. I'm from New York. I used to work on Wall Street for a hedge fund and now I'm a part of Fly for MS. Awesome. Um, do you want to talk about what made you make the switch from working on Wall Street to... I was just taking a t some time off after having a career of about 13 years on the street. I just wanted to have a, a little bit of a break and in that break I thought instead sort of um, work, come jumping right back in to do something for people and um, I got in touch with some of my friends and we put together the 2015-16 mission for Fly for MS. And maybe, you know, I spent the last nine months behind this project and um, after after March I might go back to <coughs> working on Wall Street. Did you say you put together the machine? The, the mission. Oh, okay. I was like, you built it too. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're just like a jack of all trades. Okay, awesome. Um, sorry. So what are you hoping to accomplish with Fly for MS? So with Fly for MS for, for this year, what we want to do is visit 32 cities across 18 countries in um, North, Central, South America and the Caribbean. We want to provide joy to people and um, share the, um, the experience of flight and the thrill of being in the air. Uh, we want to raise awareness for, for multiple sclerosis because it is um, an invisible disease and people don't know much about it in general. And that's our, our main <coughs> objectives for, for this mission. Cool. And how are you personally getting fulfillment from um, helping those that are suffering from MS? I just get full fulfillment watching people happy. You know, watching people experience a thrill um, for the first time. Something that maybe perhaps I take a little bit for granted because I've been flying for a little bit. That um, some things may not be so accessible to them and to see um, them experience the emotions that I felt the first time I went flying is, is brings me a lot of joy. Also, I like the fact that you know people, if they are sick with MS, they may have a, um, a chance to break from the routines of their daily lives and, and do something different and maybe like considered interesting or fun. <clears throat> Amazing. Um, so since my blog is like Yes Supply, like how do you get your Yes Supply, would you say that this, like by helping people, is how you kind of get your Yes, or do you have other things that you do, maybe working out or eating healthy or whatever, like how essentially do you get your Yes? The way I get my Yes is seeing happy people, um, you know, motivating them, inspiring them. Um, there are many other things that I'm, I keep myself busy with in life, which is uh, in my previous job, which was managing money, that gives me a, a big boost in, in, in pride and in, in fulfilling my days. Um, yeah. Cool. What were you doing, actually? Just curious. Um, when you were working on Wall Street? Yeah, I was managing risk for our credit derivative books. Intense, cool. And so if people want to follow your mission um, with Fly for MS, what would be the best way for them to get in touch? Please follow us on um, Facebook. We are Fly for MS. Um, and you can also go to our website. It's flyms.org. We also have a social media campaign which is kicking off this week. It's called Fly for More Smiles, which um, takes a play on the words of Fly for MS. And again, the hashtag is um, <laughs> fly the number four or more smiles. And the idea is you have to take a picture of yourself as though you were flying an airplane with your arms out. And uh, please encourage your friends to do it too. Nominate two other pilots, three other pilots, and uh, let's make this viral and bigger than the Ice Bucket Challenge. Awesome.